Hi, I'm Alex, a PGA Golf Professional and a Top 50 Golf Coach. Now, this is one simple adjustment that I have to keep reminding myself and have to keep making to hit this driver longer. By the end of this video, you're going to add some yards to your drive, 100%. Oh, look at the launch on that. Now, I'm going to replay that clip over now. Have a look at this slow-mo. Look how I set up to the golf ball by looking like I bumped my hips a little bit to target. Now, this is vitally important. So with the driver, to maximize our distance, we know we want to launch the ball a little bit higher. So obviously, we could loft our driver up, we could try and scoop it. We don't want to do the latter. We don't mind lofting the driver up. But what I want you to do is make the adjustment at address that I just made. So I place my golf ball down like you can see on the screen all the time. Now I'm gonna play that clip over again. Have a look at this position. So you can see my shoulders, okay. My right shoulder's a little bit lower than my left and my hips are a little bit bumped to target. This is setting my arc to be a little bit more upwards through the golf ball rather than if you look at me now on the screen here, like being like this on the golf ball, that would sort of just blast it into the ground. So how I want you to work this simple adjustment address, this is our first stage, when I sort of build it up through here, is you're gonna walk in, you're gonna place your golf ball down with the line on top, almost pointing at the center of your feet to begin with. Turn the left toe out and just move the right foot away, okay? Once you've done that, I want you to just put your left hand on the club as I have and bump your hips until you can see almost like, I guess, this part of the golf ball. So if you just come here, like this part of the golf ball here, that is where we're looking to see. So that's going to help us hit a little bit more up. It's going to help us hit a little bit more from the inside. All these things are great. So again, we're standing here. It's so simple, so easy. One, two, it takes like 10 seconds. Boom, in, ready to hit. Oh my, I just don't, why don't I remind myself of that more often? Just look at the launch on that and look at the distance on the screen. Obviously you guys can see this distance more than me because it goes on the edit afterwards. But how far are you currently hitting your driver? Let's say it's 2.30, let's say it's 2.40, let's say it's 2.50. I think you'll be adding at least 10 to this. And you think of that logically, that's one less club into the green. That is the ultimate benefit. Okay, two more points coming up here. Take about two minutes more of your time. Very, very essential you get. Now, I was saying about looking for that back edge of the golf ball, but here's a little extra tip. I've just literally thought of this on the spot. So imagine your golf ball's teed up that direction and I'm hitting here. What about just drawing like a few dots just around here like this? And this is what I wanted to sort of search for when you make that one simple tweak. Dead easy, dead simple, and you can sit there, sit there, you can stand there with the golf ball comfortably, knowing you've got your best chance of adding some extra yards. So this is just a reminder. We're trying to get the right shoulder lower than the left for a right-hander, this is hard for me to picture, and the left shoulder lower than the right for a left-handed golfer. I'm pretty sure that's the right way around. Okay, now what that's gonna do is, that's gonna allow you to hit up on the golf ball without having to change anything, without having to manipulate anything, and that's the place we've got to be. If we're stood there trying to create this, sometimes we might, sometimes we won't. We don't want to be in that place. Okay, next up, we don't need the driver right now. Two stages coming at your height here. This is so key. I, I can't believe, I, I play golf with like eight handicappers, 10 handicappers, 15, even 20 handicappers sometimes and higher. And this is so common. We want to get behind the golf ball because we think that puts more speed in. Then we slide through the golf ball. But what happens there is, we don't get through the ball at all. Put your arms across your chest. Address the golf ball as you were. And what I want you to focus on in that backswing, can you get your chest down over your back foot like this? Now, if I get here, look how I've completed my turn. If my chest is sort of up, I'm sort of sliding the hips. And on the way through, can I feel as though I get my right shoulder all the way through? Now, in reality, I, I mean, you can see that I struggle to get there, but what I'm just forcing you to do is get through the golf ball a little bit more. Apply that to the setup as well, the benefits are gonna be endless. So just a real good reminder, have a look at the screen right now, 
This is the slow-mo of me doing that feeling of the good versus the bad in the backswing, and then showing you the good on the way through. Now, what would I recommend there? I mean, just do that part of your warm-up. Let's just do like eight to 10 reps, feeling that without the golf club, and then grab your golf club, and this is how I want you to feel it. And keep yourself aware of it, because you know what? Sometimes it might not work right away, and that, that's fine, but just don't hit the panic button on the golf course, don't be scared to remind yourself. I think this is where we sort of lose it. So chest down, right shoulder all the way through, you walk in and you just try and emulate that the best you can. 1% better is moving in the right direction, isn't it? I've got no words then got no words. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to get down in those comments and let me know how you're getting on in your golf this year.